B, what's with the units heading down third? Looks like our old friend Herman Schultz is at it again. Shocker. Didn't he just get paroled? Yeah, well, I guess it didn't take. No worries. Herman's just a big cupcake. I'll have him back in Rikers by bedtime. What is up, Crow Crew? Welcome back to some more Spider-Man for the criminals. PS4. And Last episode. I'm gonna go beat up a maniac who uses we to rob people. Funny that Aunt May. Normal life you have, Peter Parker. And my pick up of MJ. In this episode, we're going to be I'll taking on the shocker. The sounds of someone struggling. Who shocks things? Peter, I just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the grand committee stops by again, don't worry, Doc. Wow, that was, uh... Spider-Man's menace. What do you say now? Whoa. I completely whiffed on that impact web. I think he detects himself. Oh, he just leveled up. We do more melee damage, that's good. Hey, so where was I? Oh yeah, don't worry doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. But I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep, please. The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. I'm just thinking of the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man music now. What the reference to that one is? Perfect. Wild guess. Those guys breaking in don't live there. Man, Fisk goes away and suddenly it's amateur hour. let you break in you'd be going away for a lot longer
And I forgot to set my timer. I got to remember this more. Transition. Wow, that Hi, was Herman. loud. Seriously. Give it up. You're never gonna catch me. That's what you said last time. I don't wanna hurt you. You'll just slow me down. Wow, that's considerate. <laughs> but this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level. Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Well, that's just rude. Come He's on, angry. Herman. At least talk to me so we can make it interesting. <laughs> gotcha. Now let's talk. I said I don't Noted. Honestly, Herman. Why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Enough. Move, move, move! I don't know how he can hear him talk. He's getting away. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Herman? You have like zero personality. But your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? Maybe later. I don't think we ever see what he looks like underneath the suit. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. A shocking comeback. For a good five minutes. <laughs> Looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah, I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. Just a little comments. I like that. Let's see, we want to upgrade this. I still need six more. <laughs> Wait. Wait, this is the line. Spider plushie! 
Oh, a toy designer made this prototype to get me to license my likeness. Too bad there's no way to get paid without revealing my identity. Their kids would buy it, that's the thing. Yeah, the thing is on. I'm not getting any of his podcasts. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Let's check in with all the normal people if we can. You guys holding up all right? This moron thinks I'm going to move in with my daughter. Hey, that'd be great. She hasn't asked, and she's not gonna. I'm not going anywhere. You don't know that. Nobody does. Well, I'm not going anywhere. That's a promise. There's so much detail in this one area. It's impressive. Six months old. Coming from inside Never thought I'd make it. After Spider-Man and the NYPD had moved in, which lasted much longer. I'm playing the definitive of this version of this game with this <laughs> character model. <laughs> yeah, that's a hot button to press with some people. Peter! What can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Uh, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Veteran homelessness is down, but still way too high. 
Good thing my buddy Flash Thompson's doing his best to fix that. I am... You know, the business community's really stepped up. Both job training and hiring. Well, most of them. Sad not to see Oscorp here. I think that is the only mention of Flash Thompson in this game. He has a whirlwind of adaptions. <laughs> you have the one that gets like three minutes of screen time in the Terry Maguire movies. The one that gets a little bit more attention in the Andrew Garfield ones who actually is nice. And then you have whatever Tom Holland's Flash Thompson is. <laughs> Uh, I can't get into that. That would be too complicated for today's standards. There's this. <laughs> now what the heck? He's a ball in the first one. He's a, some of a ball. He's somewhat not in the second and the third one. He's only there for like two minutes. <laughs> He did have that good flashpoint line. <laughs> like, he made a novel. <laughs> Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little Spidey work out in the city. Is that inside? Spider Christ is coming through. I uh, think it. Ah, I started to get the antenna. <laughs> ah, I would have been so slack if I meant to do that. Well, wait a minute. I want to see. to me he seemed worried are you into something dangerous oh it's just a story mary jane's investigating don't worry i'll make sure she's careful please tell me you two are back together we're talking again baby steps i hope i didn't upset mr lee he's just concerned i was actually touched by how concerned i knew he liked you he admires how dedicated you are to helping others i think you remind him of himself when he was younger both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Am I even getting these things? What the, it feels like I'm not getting them. Oh, wait. There we go. Unbelievable. I understand we have another low-information caller who thinks we're better off thanks to Spider-Man. Let's see if I can set her straight. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. I just want to say that I've never seen Manhattan so safe and peaceful. Compare what it was like when Spider-Man first showed up to now. Okay, fair enough, I will. Then, we had police and firefighters doing a wonderful job. There was crime, sure, but nothing they couldn't handle. Of course, we do have things now we didn't have then. Maniacs who shoot electricity out of their eyes. Walking piles of sand. Nazis made of bees! Didn't Spider-Man put all those guys in jail? You're missing the point. They didn't exist before he came along. At best, he attracts them. But I've often wondered if they're in cahoots. Wow. I've never actually heard anyone say cahoots before. Look, all I'm saying is, I'd hate to imagine what would have happened if all those guys showed up and Spider-Man wasn't here. Another lost cause. Goodbye. The last one actually isn't... Something they made up. Fritz von Meyer is a fictional character and supervillain, an enemy of Spider Man, a former Nazi sympathizer. His most notable feature is that his bo entire body is composed of bees. That's from Google. <laughs> so that's not something they just made up for this. <laughs> that's actually funny. Level 10.
All units, armed robbery reported. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a clinic. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I didn't forget, forget, I just... Uh, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. That's <sighs> right. How did I lose track of time? An Oscorp visitor badge from when I interviewed there. Would have paid well, but... Dr. Octavius offered the chance to really make a difference. <laughs> what does it say? Visit from the park one more vehicle only in the city of Oscorp. As you can see, permitting you to walk on the company's premises. You get to abide by the rules of Oscorp. Use the Oscorp premises to be your visit. So, risk the Oscorp know any of its parties to visit. Visitors must comply with all warning signs, ask of security procedures, and other rules. Please walk at all times. Do not run. <laughs> park only in the assigned parking spaces. Vehicles parked in traffic fire lanes are unauthorized. They are subject to citation and or tow away at owner's expense. No pets are allowed on the corpse premises. <laughs> Photography of any form of image capture, film, video, is on Oscorp's premises without prior written authorization of Oscorp is strictly prohibited. All vehicles and persons are subject to search and enter the next thing while visiting Oscorp. Hmm. That's an interesting one. JJ was really good in Tobey Maguire movies. He didn't appear in the Andrew Garfield movies. He just had a computer cameo. Hey, my Mark I web shooters. Managed to improve the storage capacity a lot since then, but the basic design's still the same. Well, are you Iron Man now? Ah, <laughs> I was curious if I could actually open the door from that angle. That would have been funny. At this point, I just want to have fun with this game. Try to figure out stuff I haven't seen before. I did not know that B super villain was an actual villain. That's interesting. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes. <laughs> hey, hey, what do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But 
but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. And I'm out of a job. I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. I should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be. Nope. Okay, I thought he was done talking. <laughs> Back to Octavius Industries is just a small Let's actually look at this real quick. Man, I remember the first day I interviewed here. Showed up with stains on my shirt, ten minutes late from stopping a mugging. Still can't believe Doc hired me. Hope he doesn't regret it now. There's a lot of blueprints all around here. Wow. Uh, I was about to say the computer's floating, but it's set up on a thing there. That makes most most sense. Uh, if I recall correctly, there is some... Our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. Hello! Repeating the same mistake over and over. Norman Osborne cannot be trusted. In matters large and small, if Norman has the chance to profit off another man's loss, he'll take it. It's infuriating. Someday I'll turn the tables. I'll teach Norman what it is to feel helpless and small. Doc must have more history with Norman than he shared. Peter. Oh, Peter. Don't even 
even know why I'm bothering to record this. Norman has neutered us, and soon the lab will be out of funds. We were on the verge of such great things. If we had just a bit more time and money, I know all the ideas in our heads would have come pouring in. Wait. Ideas in our heads. My God, Peter, that's it! The huge white boy that's in the corner here is just funny. Uh, well, what was that I saw earlier? I can actually check this real quick. Hang on. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. <laughs> okay, should check out Harry's research station when I get a chance. Must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. Okay, well, since I've just been checking this now, I might as well. Because they're not spawning for me most of the time. Harry left me a message about these before he left for you. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but it sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. Now I can actually show this. This is now introduction to research tokens. We have a whole bunch of tokens. We have the landmark tokens, the base tokens, crime tokens, backpack, research, and one I can't get into yet. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, oh, what's the word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might chill their polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high and rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. Particles are concentrating in trouble spots, like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then tr nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. For these clouds to be visible to the naked eye, the level of toxins must be up there. Oh, what? And gotcha. Samples of bad stuff, anyway. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh, 
Feels like I'm breathing from a tailpipe. <coughs> I must be freaking these people out. Ah, what else is new? Huh. The toxin's coming from two types of cars and a faulty smokestack. I better get photos. Great light on that one. Perfect. God. Whoa! Best smokestack picture I ever took. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. Oh, wow, well, that's Harry amazing. Well, the station just stopped a public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. Well, now I can officially create this. Because I can't get another upgrade until later. Spider Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was. But one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn. Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. Now, at the halfway point, I really still have to stress my suits. That's how I can make this more easy. No, 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 don't wanna... I want to keep these as a prize. I can stop this one. This is the one we already use. Let's go. Fantastic Bagman! I've never used this suit. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, that is just. The blue and black is just weird. Hey, Fantastic for Fun, I got a good video game. established a power base in the vacuum left by Fisk. A vacuum I created by putting Fisk away. Jameson was right. The demons are my fault. But what were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep godfathering? Are you okay? You sound even mopier than usual. I think I might have just lost my job. The city, Norman, actually pulled our funding. Oh, Pete. I'm sorry. If Harry were here, he could talk some sense into his dad. You'll find another source. Your work's too important. Thanks, MJ. Talk to you soon. What do you mean, Jameson is white? Oh, come on! I pushed him! Oh, 
die already. Bye. Knocking the ever-loving stuffing out of dealers is my anti-drug. Police are on their way. And so am I. <laughs> no, three of them off. I missed the one. I missed the one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh, that's good. I'm Bombastic Bogman for the next like 19 minutes or so. That transition was weird. Herman, long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. <laughs> Guess we're stuck in here for a while. Want to play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb rush? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa, your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You want to fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Hey, we're gonna fantastic to you fight. walk. Me so young and stupid, you just stupid. You talk too much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, is there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Also, how would you measure it? Words per minute, syllables per second, or is it more? Oh, what was that? One uses to express a single thought. It's all so subjective. If you ask me. Some people don't talk enough. Think about who their mysterious overlord is. The person they're working for, that kind of thing. Shut up! Okay, I can't find any wobble now. What? what? Anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, try day trade. It's all the rage. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. oh, come on, 
Herman? You tell me who you're working for. I can help you cut a deal. If I talk, I'm dead. They made that very clear. Quit now for your own good. This one's gonna hurt. <laughs> You're freaking me out, Herman. It's not like you to be afraid of people. Not even sure these guys are people. Could be anything under those masks. Wait, did you say masks? These mask guys, what do they want the money for? Oh, I can I... Okay, catch this one with your face. On yourself, literally. <laughs> I can't get over how ridiculous this suit looks. <laughs> Man, he was scared and desperate. These demons are everywhere all of a sudden. Okay, Yuri. Shocker's all yours now. Good work. We have a special cell waiting for him at the raft. We'll make sure he stays behind bars this time. Also, I'm pretty sure he was working for the Demon Gang. Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey, the Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. Not sure I'd call it news. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway, have you had any more reports on demon uh, uh, guys with masks? Let me get back to you. By the way, how much of a mess did you make inside that bank? You probably don't want to know. <sighs> Shouldn't have asked. Actually, hang on. What is... uh? Uh oh there is two suits in this game in spider-man that is only ps5 and microsoft windows exclusive for the spider-man remastered the hybrid suit which is the end suit and uh no way home and we have the black and gold suit, which is what he's wearing. It's just basically the, the suit inside out, which I don't know why it's black and gold. <laughs> Uh, With Shocker took a while, 
Time to catch up on what I've been missing out in the city. Oh, those were added in as a. Those are the last seats added in. Oh, those two were added in together. Interesting. Okay. Uh, not worth it yet. Indomitable Otto Octavius. That's great news. Hope his plan works. I've always been about the truth. When I was a reporter and a newspaper publisher, I printed the truth. And now as a broadcaster, I speak it. Sometimes it hurts. But it's my responsibility to bring it to you. And the truth is, the city is not quiet. It is not peaceful. It is a disaster waiting to happen. Threats roiling under the surface like a hungry shark just beneath the waterline. Don't let Spider-Man fool you. You are not safe. None of us are. That was, a. Uh, that was so pointless. Wow. Okay, so for now, I'm going to be doing a thing where I'm switching my suits at least halfway through the episode, at least. Hopefully that doesn't bite me in the ass. Uh, uh. Hey, so I looked into reports of demons. I knew you'd come around. They've been pretty busy tonight, hitting a lot of Fisk properties. They're going after Fisk? Damn, you thinking what I'm thinking? Brewing gang war? Let's try to get ahead of it. Are there any Fisk properties that haven't been hit tonight? Let me see. Patrol reported a bunch of activity at one of his shipyards in Portside. Thanks, Yuri. I'll check it out. Hey, Yuri. Any idea what Fisk uses that shipyard for? No idea. Let me send an officer to meet you there. His name's Jefferson Davis. That's his beat. He's a good cop. Been working the Fisk case for years. If anyone knows what's going on at that shipyard, it's him. Sally Bombastic Bagman is being retired of Spider Cop. That's it for this episode of Spider Man for the PS4, everyone. on an armored car. Suspects are masked. Officers needed in Gramercy. That's good. Demons robbing an armored heart to heart time. Were you not lucky enough to see the babies? Dad to it holding? Mom not around? Let you cry all night? Aren't just a street gang. Glad he's on our side. All right, next time we go check out the shipyard. All right, see you guys then.